I'm working on an animated kid show for ages 8 to 14. It's called Fish and Ships. And it's six kids and a monkey cast away on an island, each kid with their own perspective, with their own set of values, just trying to live together on this little plot of land. It's My Little Pony meets Lord of the Flies. And I'm making it because it's easy to work together when everyone thinks and acts just like you, but the world doesn't work like that. The lessons aren't sharing is caring or friendship is magic. And the big bad isn't some monstrous villain trying to take over the world. No, the tension comes from the fact that these kids all have different priorities and they don't agree with each other. And the lesson is that a diverse community can live together and find common ground, persuading their neighbors when possible. And sometimes just learning to accept the differences because the world is full of people that don't agree with you. And most stories are about literally destroying them. But guess what? When you have a disagreement with someone at school or at the library or in the office, you can't just blow people up. Shouldn't, shouldn't just blow people up. This is the story of six kids and a monkey. There's Juniper, hyperlogical. Feelings, not so much. She's an engineer, a tinkerer, a scientist, single-minded, hyper-focused and socially unavailable. She's always experimenting with crazy new ways of doing things. And sometimes it makes for a better mousetrap. And sometimes that mousetrap just snaps on everyone's toes. Duncan, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. He's warm and reliable. A farmer who always knows how many more days until the rainy season and he's fiercely protective of his people. He knows what the outside world is capable of. And when it comes to surviving on the island's inner jungle, he's always prepared. Marcy takes a bird's eye view of all the happenings on the island. She works with the kids to plan and organize everything from summer festivals to emergency evacuations. She knows everything about everyone, or at least she thinks she does, which drives everyone nuts. But they need her more than they'll admit. And Gabriel is the architect. If it ain't broken, you can probably make it better. His buildings and structure have clear and demonstrable value, and he's proud of that. He works not for himself, but for the community, and he retains a deep respect for everyone, even when that means stepping back and allowing others to make mistakes that they can learn from. And Tess is perhaps the most multi-talented. A seamstress, a chef, an herbalist, patient, emotionally mature, and unshakable. She's frequently underestimated and the last person to speak up in group meetings, but often with the wisest thing to say. And Connor is the new kid on the block. He's a young sailor and explorer and he's an excellent fisherman. He revels in the freedom to go wherever, whenever, but he's chosen to stay, at least for now. Monkey is also important. Technically, he's a lemur or a persimian who loves, well, food and the kids, of course. He doesn't contribute physical goods, but he's a great listener. And these six kids and monkey are essentially stuck together, solving problems like limited resources and unintended consequences. And in season two, an archipelago of foreigners, and they all have different ideas on how to solve these problems. Some of these ideas are better and some of these ideas are worse and some ideas are just different, but they can't settle it by fighting and sending the loser off to a gulag. They have to learn how to persuade, how to compromise, and honestly, sometimes just how to live and let live because these are the stories of island pioneers, building their society through trial and error and discovering that you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. My name is Laura, and this is honestly the fifth time I've designed these characters, and it won't be the last. You'll see them grow and change as they build expression sheets and pose sheets and character art, as they interact with each other and the environment. And with each video I'll release, you'll get a new glimpse into the process of creating fish and ships.